Yes, yes, can you hear it? Yes, it's the Woo Train. All aboard the Woo Train. Fellas, tally ho there. Now let's review this 2015 MacBook Pro. So you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro? Or just get killer prices on Windows Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys? Head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go woo! Done lots of videos on it. You can check them out compared to the XPS 15. I will be comparing it to the Razer too. So, so make sure you subscribe to see that and give me a like if you like these videos. I've done a gaming review, in-depth analysis of the performance, thermals, etc. I will compare the i9 and the i7 soon. And in this video, I'll give you my recommended upgrades to do. I'm going to tell you the best configuration to get to get the maximum performance and tell you where not to waste your money on. So this is indeed the MacBook Pro 15 2018 with Coffee Lake, 8th generation, 6 core, 45 watt parts, finally. So these things are expensive. Start at 2399 US, about the same amount of pounds, 3400 in Australia. But when you spec up an i9, one terabyte SSD, 32 gigs RAM, it's gonna cost you like 3899 US, yes. How expensive is that, like 5800? in Australia, that configuration. And in the UK, it's just slightly less pounds than it is in dollars. The reality is you can buy a Windows laptop for much cheaper than this and it will perform better. Not that much better now. I will get into that later. But you know, you're gonna save like a thousand dollars US. Now there are custom parts on this like T2 chip, RAID controller, you know, 16 by 10 display, awesome, you know, stereo. There's a lot of in-house stuff that make this more expensive. It offsets some of that price difference, but it's still very pricey. So build quality, it's Apple. It comes with the best build quality, aluminium design, beautiful, space gray color, I love this. Nice, thin, I reckon it looks like the best laptop from the outside, but when you open it up, you're a little disappointed you don't have that Infinity Edge display. You still do have bezels there. It just doesn't look as good as like Infinity Edge displays, which pretty much every Windows laptop has these days. But I did have some build quality issues with the first unit I got. The second unit I'm gonna have to return because it like clicks the chassis, but that box was beaten up. I have to tell you this, but generally Apple have the best support or one of the best. I do recommend Apple Care, by the way. And I would say their build quality is really good, but if you know the 2016 MacBook Pro was basically a lemon, the 15 inch. It had so many issues with the motherboard, the keyboard, like there's a lot of issues with that. The 217 model, keyboard is still an issue. Get Apple Care, that's my advice. So I will make my final comparison video to all the best 15 inch premium laptops. I'll compare it to the Razer Blade XPS 15 Aero. So stay tuned for that. Comes in at 0.61 of an inch, 15.5 millimeters, four pounds, 1.83 kilos, very thin and light. It's pretty much the thinnest and lightest 15 inch premium laptop going around. When it comes to ports, four times Thunderbolt three ports, fantastic for bandwidth. Not very practical, I'd like to see an SD card slot, but that's what it is. And it has a headphone jack as well. You know, I see some people maxing out all these Thunderbolt ports. So it is great that it has four, four times Thunderbolt three ports. And it makes the design of the laptop look beautiful and slick too, because trust me now, if Apple could get away without putting ports on, they would. If you know about design, you'll know that Apple had that Bauhaus sort of design. Look it up, Bauhaus art movement or just Bauhaus documentary. Have a look. Bauhaus Movement is responsible for having sleek, modern design. And there's nothing on this Mac that doesn't have to be there. Probably to a fault. Anyway, when it comes to sound, the best sound on a laptop. So I can just move on straight onto the keyboard. You like it or you won't. Whether it's fixed or not, who knows? It does have rubber gaskets under the keys now. People are calling it the Comdom to block out debris that might stop the keyboard from working. Whether that works or not, we'll come back to this in six months, a year's time. But hopefully Apple will have you back. I just, I think they will. Any keyboard issues they will fix. But again, Apple Care, get it. And it makes it so expensive when you add Apple Care. But hey, just get it. And it will protect you from damage as well, Apple Care. But the trackpad, 10 out of 10. Best trackpad, tactic feedback, it is just the best. The display is awesome too. So 16 by 10, I love this ratio of display. It's better than 16 by 9. 2880 by 1800 IPS panel, retina display. Now it has true tone. It is great to have true tone. You also have that touch bar display there, which I don't really like. I prefer function keys, but yeah, it adds shortcuts and whatever. So when it comes to battery life, 
killer battery life for a 15 inch laptop. I get around eight hours battery life, just general web surfing, etc. Around, you know, six hours if I'm video editing. That does not include rendering, of course. So very good battery life. 87 watt hour power supply via USB-C. You can plug it into any of them and it's gonna charge. So that's fantastic, great battery life. When it comes to the performance, 32 gigs, wow, thank you for making a 32 gig MacBook Pro. Now I can consider this. And in actual fact, I think this has claims to being the best 15 inch laptop going around now. Now it's not perfect, there are thermal constraints, so you won't get the maximum out of your CPU or GPU for that matter, but it's very competitive with PCs in terms of performance. By video edit, I can't tell the difference between this and a high-end 15-inch PC. In the timeline, render times are very competitive, a little bit slower, nothing to write home about. The last generation was much slower. And I think the 16 gigabyte RAM was a bottleneck for me. Won't be for everyone, but for me it was. This is much faster and it can actually game too, so. Performance is right up there. It's on par, maybe a little bit less than the PCs, especially in the graphics department. It doesn't have like a GTX 1050 Ti or 1060 or 1070 Max-Q. It will be a bit behind in graphics, but other than that, it performs very well. I have no problems recommending this for a workhorse, for a workstation. You won't get the most out of the CPU because of the thermal constraints. You will get some thermal throttling if you're using GPU and CPU, but that's the nature of thin and light. Nothing much I can do here. So in conclusion, I think this is nearly a perfect laptop. It is certainly the perfect Mac. If this had a slightly better GPU, say the Vega GPU out of the Kaby Lake G processors, like the ones that go into the XPS 15 2-in-1, if they took that graphics and put it in here, worked on the thermals a little bit, this would be the perfect 15 inch laptop seriously it would and it comes very close to being my 100 recommended 15 inch laptop with the xps 15 those two are my recommended laptops now i do have the razor in now maybe my mind will change with the razor but just for now i'll just tell you the best two 15 inch premium laptops are the xps 15 and the macbook pro 15 boom all right so i'd like to really thank you guys for watching make sure you get on the woo train please subscribe and until next time guys tally ho okay for my recommended configuration i'll leave links in the description for that and by the way i'm actually using the built-in microphone of the macbook pro here it actually has a few microphones on it but let me know how it sounds but the best configuration is pretty much the highest spec pre-built system you can buy that's with the 2.68850h forget about the i9 in actual fact you probably could just get the base model upgrade the graphics and you'd get 99 percent of the performance of the i9 most of the time now i will say the best upgrade other than that is 32 gigs get ram first forget about i9 get the ram that's the best thing to do anyway catch you next one Woo!